for my Bible study. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just nonchalantly, and when he got out of the desert, he was thirsty and just like, <laughs> drinking Mountain Ops. <laughs> Ooh, I bet Put on his did. rock and roll <laughs> denims. I bet he did. enjoyed <laughs> thirst quenching. <laughs> oh. oh, how did he survive the den with the lions? He put on his American hat. <laughs> Uh, no, what we were talking about is the Bible study. You're welcome to, if you'd like to be a part of it, it's an unlisted video and it is, uh, it goes out once a week. I'll, I'll send out a Bible study. It's eight, nine minutes of me talking about 89 something. 89 minutes. 89 minutes. Dang. <laughs> you better like the sound of Dale Bisbee's voice. <laughs> <laughs> or just love mountain ops to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have me <laughs> some of this mountain ops. I got back in Da Nang. <laughs> I'm here for two things, to find Christ and to drink mountain ops. <laughs> okay, sorry. Where am I rocking that's, roll? That's enough. <laughs> Guys, it's not about chasing money. All yeah. I want to do is put on my rock and roll denim, drink mountain ops, wear my American hat, feed total feed, uh, drive my can uh, yeah. What about that? Sounds like a sellout. What about you? that? Sounds like a sellout to you. Just, just like the rest of you. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, so we, um, yeah, the Bible study. Text 940-353-0890. Text the word Bible to it. I'll send that out once a week. And uh, we get in the comment section. We do a lot of talking back and forth. You can text me back in that and uh, ask questions, whatever. I'll answer them the best I can. I'm not a preacher. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so keep that in mind as you're listening. Try not to throw too many rocks at me. I'm doing my best. But essentially, whenever we do a Q&A on Instagram, we'll ask, you know, there will be a hundred, if a hundred questions get asked of me on a Q&A on Instagram, it, a dozen of them, 12 of them are, um, what's your favorite Bible verse? What are you studying right now? So what is that? 8%? No. Be more than that. Twelve out of a hundred. That'd be twelve percent. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Word>. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, one twelfth. Uh, Sean is my brother. Is eight percent. Okay. One twelfth of something would be eight percent. Sorry, that's how I got there. <laughs> that's my brother. Sean's my brother, but smarty. Sean's my brother. My house. What percentage is twelve out of hundred? <laughs> what percentage is twelve out of a hundred? <laughs> I don't know. Call somebody. I think it's eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, welcome to the podcast. We talk about Lonesome Dove. We talk about who would play what role. We talk about um, these new, these three new interns, how they came about, why they came about, why we hired three, which one of them, um, one of them almost loses his job on day one, on the first intern. Uh, on the first podcast. So, um, yeah, one out of three. We almost fired 8% of the interns. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to uh, the podcast, Rodeo Time, the podcast. And um, don't forget to check out our sponsors, who we've already named, <laughs> and uh, DaleBrisby.com. Donnie, now roll the music. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Rodeo Time, the podcast. We're in the Dale Warehouse, and we haven't done one of these in a while. And we got the A-team here. There's a little bit of tension between these two. I don't know where it started. <laughs> They're fighting over who's the tallest. They're oh, fighting no, over. There's no, there's no argument. Cole's taller. Well, right now you're taller. You can adjust that chair, by the way. You can? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you may have to like flip that switch out and go down. Um, we just recently did a recast of Lonesome Dove and who would be who on Lonesome Dove. Um, Donnie was not pleased with Cole's decision. I thought it I was just a shot. It. I thought, no, me. it wasn't. Yes, it, no, was. it was. Yes, it was. It's putting everybody in roles. I mean, we had a couple things yeah, to go off of. I get that. Everybody else was pretty, pretty good. Yep. And you just took a shot. At me. I don't think it was quite a shot. Oh, uh, it was pretty much a shot. I, no, I th The first no. thing you said is, 
Donnie, I made this video. You're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Cole's defense, you don't like most of the videos that Cole makes. That is true. I have never said that. I didn't like a video that you've made. Yeah, you just don't. Yeah, I think it's just when you don't show any emotion. I was like, yeah, what do you to think, be Don? fair. To be fair. I do that a lot. That is true. Um, so you shouldn't so who special. did you cast as Donnie? I cast Donnie as Sean O'Brien. And there's nothing really that <laughs> wrong with Sean O'Brien. It's just that he dies right away. Wasn't Sean, his fault. Sean's me, brother, but smart to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think a couple of snake bites could kill me? That mule's hobbled, son. <laughs> well, his legs won't work. <laughs> no, but could you tell us how far we are from Galveston? <laughs> Galveston? <laughs> Where's that? You're on, you're on his land. And then he casts himself... As probably, besides the original people that work for the Hat Creek Cattle Company, he is the most capable person that they hire. I'm going to stand by this. We've changed it. No, it's changed. In the final cut, yeah, it's changed. I was originally going to play Dish Boggett, but Donnie seemed, yeah, Donnie started raising a fuss about it. So See, I thought that was a humble move. I don't feel like Dish is at the top of the, I think it's um, Gus and Woodrow, Dietz. Right. And he he can handle himself, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a contest between Pi Newt and Dish. Like you can make an argument for any one of those three for number three spot. Yeah, I agree with that. And you weren't any. <laughs> so there's a three way tie for fourth place. <laughs> I th- I thought about making you Newt, but it just didn't seem. You don't seem like a Newt. I I you know what I mean like. No, that's fair. Maybe a couple of years ago, yeah. Two years ago, Donnie, you know, fresh off the boat, absolutely. But nowadays, no. You've graduated. I think the only thing that Sean that I have in common with Sean is that I kind of look like him. <laughs> that's <laughs> kind of that's the kinda. only thing. <laughs> Nobody. I showed that video to a lot of people. Everybody that saw it, not one was like, "Oh, that doesn't fit." Everyone was like. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, right. I felt like had Cole made himself Gus and me Woodrow, that would have been a bold move. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would have been trying to step on Donnie's toes. I know I'm not. I was but the. I did. I, I was curious if there was some sort of symbolism, like you see Donnie, like you know, because rodeo time, lonesome dove. Like obviously, you don't see him dying of a snake bite, but maybe that means you see him getting fired soon. No, I think it more has to do with Donnie's always a part of it because if you watch Lonesome Dove, you always remember that Sean died from a snake bite, but he's only in the first episode. Donnie's in every rodeo time, but Uh, you never see him. uh, You know what I mean? There, uh, there were a few. That's why I'm like. That's why I'm like Deets. You know, I'm always scouting out. Yeah, the trail. I'm always. That's that's a fair. Been with the company the longest. Mm. You know, serve with me in seventeen engagements. (laughs) <laughs> Never shut. Everybody had a problem with me being deet. I didn't see the problem. Cheerful in all weather. Yep. Splendid behavior. Yeah. <sighs> Senior man. Seen seen Woodrow bury a lot of people never carved a great stone. Let's go see what he wrote. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, you probably would be a better deets, but Yeah, we just can't go there. We're not going there. <sighs> <laughs> I hope these new guys have watched Lonesome Dove. That's the first question. We've got some Q and A. We got three new guys, um, yeah. So we've we've just had some people kind of transition away from the Dale Warehouse, right? So um, Blythe, with a lot of pressure from her family, um, decided to. Uh, I mean, I assume, <laughs> right? I have no idea. Decided to. Uh, not pursue a bull riding career. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and okay. Yeah, go, true. <laughs> go back to college. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Um, contrary to popular, popular belief, I think there are probably a lot of parents out there that don't want their kids to go you know, quit school and go work for a YouTuber in West Texas. They're, they're all cool with it until that first video of them getting kicked in the head. <laughs> <on YouTube>. <laughs> <Can> <laughs> you, and you know we're gonna make it the thumbnail oh, absolutely yeah. yeah no it was great great footage um yeah <laughs> he didn't she didn't falter uh, you know what i mean she, yeah. yeah uh but no she actually is pursuing breakaway and going back to school and i think she always intended on going back to school but she was here for a year carlos um had kind of a dream 
place back home that he is going to go move towards and kind of start his he told us on podcast, didn't he? Yeah. But like a, you know, kind of a, a horse operation there. He's going to um, trade horses. So if you're in Georgia and you need a horse, holler at Carlos de la Cruz. The, what do you call it? Three Cross Ranch. Yep. Then, um, yeah, I had a couple other local people. Just uh, that cup. One one lady was had a second job and she just went to that one full time. Anyhow, everybody leaving on good terms, but we did have some people leave. So we put out an APB for a new intern lately, had a lot of responses, had a lot of great videos, had a top 10, had a top 20, but we narrowed it down uh, to these three, and um, we just decided to bring all three. So um, we're, we're at a pretty cool spot with uh, Rodeo Time. Never done this before, never had three new people. So I told them this morning they're not competing against each other. However, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see some cutthroat <laughs> action. And but the only thing is, is it's got to be you got to catch it on film. You know that's kind right. of the deal. So if we can come up with some sort of like Dale Brisby's next top intern. That's what I told everybody Challenge. whenever we went to rope the Longhorn the other day. If you rope this Longhorn and it is not recorded, then your rope will get cut. And everybody was chasing it. Not a no one was filming it. Yeah, besides yeah. me, everybody no. glazed over. No, <laughs> no one was filming no, it. Gabe, I was chasing it. I was on Boone. Gabe had his phone out, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't catch up to him. <laughs> <laughs> Boone's a great horse, but he can't run out of sight in a day. No, Boone was Boone was on him. Boone knew what we were after, and he was giving it. I know what you want me to do. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, but we're not going to do it. And ten years ago, I probably yeah. would have. I think Boone's uh, plan was to wear him down, get him just. You know, get him so he tripped up. Yeah. I ain't as good as I once was. <laughs> That's Boone's deal. Um, high speed chases or pulling something in the trailer. Yeah. Boone's out. Yep. <laughs> Don't go grab Buckethead or Dale Brisby for one of those two. Yep. Um, without further ado, we're going to bring on our first intern. And since he's sitting the closest, we're going to go with Ty. Um, I don't know his last name. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> yeah, Ty. <laughs> Mr. Ty. Is it, is, it, is it Hamilton? Rogers. Rogers. That's Rogers. Close. Close. Really yeah. close. Yep. Yep. He's all over. Same number of letters. Same yep. classical last name. Yeah. Three, four. Depending on how yeah. he spells it. <laughs> <laughs> he spells it the same. Okay. Where are you going? Or where are you from? Uh, I'm from Owingsville, Kentucky. Where are you going? Uh, Into the microphone, please. Where am I going? I think I've made it to where I'm going. There you go. Going here. At a boy. Yeah. You're from where in Kentucky? Owingsville. It's a little one stop white town, like forty miles east of Lexington. So. Okay. A lot of horses around there. Yeah, like lawn ornament horses though. Like not really No race horses? Thoroughbreds are kinda up in the Lexington area. A lot of walking horses still, which I was talking to Cole about that earlier. Yeah. Not really my speed, but some people enjoy it. So. Don't like to walk out. Yeah. I guess. Some people like the way they look. He's more high speed kind of guy. Yeah. Hey, speaking of, do any of these guys walk slow? I ain't seen them walk. I haven't oh. seen them so far. Just a little bit from what I saw. They were all kind of hustling this morning. Okay, everywhere. good. Yep. Good. I got here. Yeah. Gotta look out for slow walkers. <laughs> 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 I have one intern in particular. I was like, it's like the first week. I was like, you're going to have to walk faster than that, <laughs> bud. <laughs> I said there's a, there's a couple different speeds, and I explained this slow speed of a former employee that didn't last long, and then the other end of that spectrum is yeah. Cole Hatfield, and Cole is a buddy of mine. We rodeo together. He uh, he works at the Wagner Ranch now, and I don't know how he does it, but in his truck to the barn, saddle his horse, driving down the road. I don't know, two and a half, three minutes. Like he's just like he wastes no time. He walks fast. And he walks with a purpose. Oh, yeah. And I, t I told this young man, I said, listen, you don't have to go Cole Hatfield speed, but you can't go, I'm going to call it Cole Snyder speed. <laughs> 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 I, I, I walk fast. <laughs> no, I don't want to name any names with the other yeah, guys. Yeah, you like, walk really but your legs are just so short. <laughs> just because it takes me two steps to keep up with his Stop one. Stop interrupting. He's telling the story. Sorry. And this, this intern that I gave this speech to took it to heart. Two months later, like I was looking out the back window and like he's by himself and this joker is high stepping across. The <laughs> he, he did take that to heart. 
Yeah. And he took all of it to heart. He's like a full blown like rancher now. Really? Yeah. He I mean like he he's pursuing a life as a cowboy. Yeah. And uh don't want to give too much away. Well, I mean, yeah. He's also a farrier now. So um if you want to do the digging, I don't think that he would be mad at me for telling that story, but and it, and he wasn't really even trying to nobody had really ever talked to him yeah. about about that. Because everybody knows that you should hustle and work hard. But, like, <clears throat> I mean, in school, they're not going to tell you, like, if we're going to go over there and move that saddle and spur board and everything, like, that it should take you two and a half seconds to get there as opposed to nine. Like, they don't, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a simple thing. Do it now. But, like, yeah. when you're working, like, usually in ranching, like, let's go, you right. know? Anyway. Oh, that, whew, I he thought you were talking. Like him. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I thought he was talking about Willie. No. No, the, yeah. this person, none of these people are here. The yeah. slow walker, Cole Hatfield's not here, and the person I was giving the speech right. to is not no yeah. longer here. I thought it was going to be a joke about Willie being on crutches, and I was like, well, come on, Dale. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Haste, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm all about efficiency. That's what it's about. Like, if we can get there, that's why I get caught speeding by the cops. It's just like, I don't want to waste all that time in the vehicle anyhow whatever you don't like walking horses right yeah not a big fan yeah so what is it that brought you to winnebago um i started applying probably like a year and a half ago yep i probably look familiar to some of these guys because they probably got sick of seeing me but uh i yeah i got uh introduced to the channel um the uh watch the tv show um got into the podcast and then it didn't take too long. I was still in college, and um, just in seeing the way everybody interacted and, like, the things you guys got to do, I knew this was a place that I wanted to end up. So um, before I even graduated, I think I'd reached out a couple times and uh, just stayed at it until until it happened. So, Yeah, that is one thing about all three of the guys that came here today. Mm-hmm. This is y'all's first day. Um, you all three applied multiple times. Oh, yeah. So there's a lot of people out there. If you are still applying, don't give up. Um, I'm going to do this. We're going to do some uh, rapid fire. <laughs> right. So I've got some questions here. Since we're going to have to talk to three of you guys, I figured we'd ask you the same questions, rapid fire. Favorite Lonesome Dove quote? All right. <laughs> First off, I've always intended on Oh, my it. gosh. No bad, bad start. I know, I know. Bad I know. start. I know. That's why that question was first. I, I, I was sweating whenever I heard you guys talking about it over there. But it's always been – I'm a big you, Western fan. I've watched just, a bunch of the old ones. You could have watched it. You could have like, looked at well, it. Yeah. Well, whenever, whenever I got the, the call back from you guys, I'm like, I have to cram. I have to watch this for you yeah, guys. Right. I talk about it too much. And then, uh, you know, I had like two days to leave, and it just – Seeing family just, and stuff. Yeah. It didn't happen. Yeah, it just, you right. know. Yeah. But You'll get to it. But it's going to happen. Man. Eventually. And it was good to have you. I'm glad, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you made it down. It's a good thing I didn't fully you. unpack. So, <laughs> I think this is a good good rule. I just kind of thought of it. Interns, when they first get here, they don't get paid. And then, obviously, Donnie's been here three years. <laughs> he is now getting paid. <laughs> he hasn't been. <laughs> Even though he, he gets addressed as an intern occasionally still, he is very much an employee who gets paid. So there is a there's a transition time where, you know, so maybe I think it's probably fair that before you get your first paycheck, mm-hmm. you got to watch Lonesome Dove. That's fair enough. That's yeah. a good rule. I, yeah. I, I I concur. We're going to keep him? There's a little. <laughs> yeah. Blythe was here. Blythe got biased the whole year. She had not ever seen it. Yeah. There's a little curveball to that in that my place does not have a TV. Yeah, but we do have internet. Okay, fair enough. I can so, and all four episodes are on YouTube. Bingo. Are they really? Yes, yeah. they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, wa- I watched them. I watched it yesterday. I might get my first check tomorrow. <clears throat> it's not well, quite how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I like where your head's at. Yeah. Um, all right, so that wasn't so rapid fire, <laughs> but yeah, whenever right. you were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, where are you from? Owensville, Kentucky. What did you come here for? What I come here for? Uh, I came here to just learn. Rapid fire, son. Learn Wrap a little it up. bit of everything. You guys get to do a whole lot, uh, and I wanted just to learn a little bit a little bit all of it. Are you wanting to do anything rodeo related? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. What's that? Bull riding. Okay. You want to get on bulls? Absolutely, I do. Did this sneak by me? No. Yeah. Y'all no. told me that? Yes. Dang. I feel bad we're not bucking today. 
Yeah, I was my heart skipped a beat over there. He's been on bulls. That's been my on bad. Bulls. Yeah. Oh, you've been on bulls. Yeah, I'm new to it, and I slowed down. Like gas got so high, man. It's hard to travel. Yeah, right now, but yeah, excuses. Um, knew- <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't winning. I was, no, I was not. I was not winning. I was uh, really good at falling off though. So I was staying healthy. So ah, um. What made you want to work here? You already said that. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? I do, yeah. What's her name? Her name is Jenna. Can you write her phone number down right here? Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Reach photo. Is she hot? I already wrote it on the bathroom wall. There you go. Bingo. Uh, it was already on the bathroom wall. <laughs> 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 just kidding. She's gonna be listening. Nice to lady. <laughs> You're dating Jenna. No, <laughs> it's all making sense. <laughs> um, favorite Western movie. We know it's not Lonesome favorite Dove. Western movie is Tombstone. Okay. Yeah. It's Donnie's least favorite. It's least not my favorite. least favorite. I'll listen to that. But it's it just not, podcast, I think. not like up there. You know? Donnie doesn't think it's a good movie. It's it's not yeah. It's just I think a lot of the new ones really. are good too. Like I mean, I like some of uh, like Hell or High Water, which if you can consider that a Western. Like a neo Western. Yeah. Yeah, Django was good. It's not top ten. It's just favorite yeah, Western movie. So <laughs> rapid fire. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> most embarrassing moment. Oh man. Oh, rapid fire. Can we can we can we do Yeah, like we'll circle back. We'll circle thing? back. All right. Have you ever been fired? Uh I've never been fired, but I do have a funny quitting story. Let's hear it. If it's rapid fire. It's I'll all right. make it quick, right? I'll hit pause. I was, I was in college, boss. and uh, I was working at uh, Golden Corral. I had a buddy that was working there. <laughs> and uh, he was a server at Golden Corral, and that's the easiest job in the world. It's a buffet, right? But I went to be a server, and this lady, she was a new manager there, just just would not let me – wouldn't give me a server job, but she's like, hey, you'll make a few dollars more if you go wash dishes, right? And so I don't know if you've seen the dish room in at Golden Corral, but it is a nightmare. And I was back there. There was, like, two other guys that are, like, six-year vets. They've been doing this for a long time. And uh, this new manager had been cross with them before, since before I got hired. I think that's why she hired me because there was three people back there, and she knew she was going to have to like, get rid of one of them. And uh, they got – she got in a fight with one of those guys that had been there a while, and he just quit. And he was friends with the other guy that had been there forever. So that guy was just like, I'm done, too, if you fire him. So I am by myself in a dish room washing, like, hundreds of dishes. And I finally, at the end of the day, I, kept, I went up to the manager. And I was like, look, if the six-year vets can't handle it, I said, I don't think this is right for me either. I was like, I got to get out of here. But it was just endless, endless piles of dishes. It was a nightmare. Dang. What's well, a restaurant? But like a buffet. Yeah, but it's a buffet. <laughs> and like, they, yeah, like, for, they like for, encourage you. They're like, yeah, if you go back, like get a new plate. I was like back there, like losing my mind. I'm like, no, just use the same plate you just had. Like it's just yeah. more work for me. I never really understood that anyway. Oh, like like what was, the, you know, why, that, why is a new plate? You know, you're more apt to fill it with more food if you get a new plate. But if you were running a buffet, wouldn't you want them to not do that? Yeah. yeah I, that was my I have opinion. no idea. I only watched the country, old country buffet training video. Favorite Dale wear item? Uh, I really like the shirt I have on. Soft. I got a little dirty today. But. Most cowboy thing you've done before you got here? Uh, I was at the PBR bar in Louisville, and I really rode the heck out of a mechanical bull. Sorry, into the mic, say that again, just <laughs> so I know that we all heard you right. <laughs> That was supposed to be a little satirical, but also very true. Okay, <laughs> no. good. Yeah, yeah. No, man, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, I was no. joking. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> of course, so, that's not cowboy. <laughs> well, two weeks ago, I worked, uh, actually, before I came here, I worked at a ranch for two weeks in Cristobal. So, uh, shout out to Austin Whitener, who's a ranch manager out there. Um, uh, through some family. Let's not use this for your personal plugs. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mystery ranch manager uh, agreed to, to bring me on. And uh, and just kind of teach me. So, hey, he, he, uh, so that yeah, that was probably the most cowboy thing was living on that ranch for a couple of weeks. One thing you want to see on rodeo time. One thing that I want to see on it, uh, maybe myself eventually. Bingo, good maybe. answer. Gus or Woodrow? Oh yeah, yeah. Gus. I know a Gus. He's a good fellow. Yeah, but you're not prepared to defend your answer. Oh yeah, sorry. That's yeah. on some He hasn't <laughs> yeah. seen it. I'll get back with you though on that one quick. Too. True. You have to walk home from Winnebago. What are you taking? That's a weird question. I have to. What is am I taking? If you had to like grab a bug out bag real quick. Oh, like out the door. Yeah, I'm grabbing Cole's bag. He's got one. Yeah. Mm, he was wearing that's, it today. That's a fair. That's a fair point. Kevin versus Willie in a fight. Who are you betting on? Uh, like right now. Yeah, Kev. Willie's hurt. Right. Kev looks great. He's walking around out there. They're He's both looks healthy. They're both hurt. Yeah. But, are they? But yeah, I think Kevin might be able to take him right now. 
Never ride a horse again, but look like a real cowboy. Or be a top hand, but wear your cowboy hat backwards. Top hand hat backwards. I think I could sell that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's a style choice. Yeah. Yeah. I can maybe. (laughs) Yeah, maybe it'll catch on. (laughs) Be your thing. Yeah. (laughs) If you're the best, then everybody's eventually going to be wearing their hat backwards. And it's just. So now we've circled back to what's your most embarrassing moment? Uh, probably telling you guys that I worked at Golden Corral. Mm. Washing dishes. Yeah. Actually telling you guys I hadn't seen Lonesome Dove. That was my most Yeah, that's actually, moment. yeah, that's. I, I wish that hadn't happened. Touche. Not the mechanical bull story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like it. All right. <laughs> He's got his it got, top it got two. A, yeah. Most embarrassing moments. In the last moments. five minutes. It, it got a good laugh. Yeah. It was worth it. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, so you want to get on bulls while you're here. Other Absolutely. than that, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, somewhere in the ag industry, um, I want, my grandfather runs beef cattle. Um, so eventually I want to be able to do that on my own, but five years from now, um, working outside, working in agriculture doing something. Maybe how, if you guys have me around that long, you know, who knows, but. How's your girlfriend going to handle you being this far away? Oh, she's, she had her bags up and ready to go to eventually. One of these days she'll probably, if I decide to stay. Yeah. So she got introduced to it whenever I went down this last time to Cristobal, and then I turned around and left again. So uh, she's already had flirted with the idea of relocation. About leaving you? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, I mean, oh, you ain't coming here. That could oh. be the better idea of the two. But, <laughs> but no, she's uh, she's great. She's supportive of it. So How long have y'all been together? Um, About a year. So, And I even told her when we first got together, like I planted this seed like a long time ago. I was like, if Rodeo Tom calls me, I was like, I'm gone. Like You've I'm been just, telling, oh, wow. Because I, I was already applying. And, like, I was I was like, listen, I want this really bad. I'm not going to stop till they just, you guys are going to have to tell me no. You know, I was like, squeaky wheel gets the grease eventually. Something's going to happen. Yeah. So that was actually, that was my parents' advice to me. They just, like, keep saying them out. Worst they can say is no. So. Exactly. That's 100% true. Yeah. And most of it's, you know, all about timing. And, um, yeah, no, you played your cards right. We're glad you're here. So Appreciate it. Let's get Lonesome Dove under your belt, and then uh, we'll see how things go from there. Yeah. yeah. You guys gave me something point. to do tonight, so. If you could send in the next intern. Yes, sir. Thank you, my friend. Mm-hmm. A little rough around the edges, but I think he's A little bit, be- yeah. Uh, kind of disappointed, I think, actually. I think he can still hear us. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, dis- <laughs> I'm disappointed. I vouch for that guy. I thought, he, I thought he'd seen Lonesome Dove. <laughs> he was your choice? Would, well, no, I mean, I just ah, it seems like a good guy. He's got a yeah. Theo Vaughn shirt. Surely, Lonesome Dove would have worked its way. Oh, you there. like Theo Vaughn? He's the, man. He's the man. Yeah. Who do we have next? Adam. My man. Where are you from? You got to get real in close to it. Intimate. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm actually from a small town, Petrolia, Texas, but uh, right now I live in Wichita Falls. Gotcha. Right up the road. Mm-hmm. Um, when did you first discover Dale Brisby? Um, when the Netflix documentary came out. Documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of it. <laughs> Docu series. Yeah. 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 I think it might even classify better as a mockumentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, there was a lot of that that was very authentic. And we did not fake it. The explosion, the calf getting out of the sail barn. Carl Wayne getting out, like all this kind of stuff actually happened. We actually had to do it. We could not fake it. I feel like when you say that, though, people are like, well, that, ma- that makes me think it is fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, like people always ask me. Oh, they, yeah. So specifically, they usually ask if uh, the um, frostbite getting out of the yeah. cellborn. That's the one. They're like, did that really? Like, yeah, that really happened, and we did not plan it. There's a freaking highway right there. Yeah. Why don't we yeah. turn something out on the highway? Yeah. Dude. I saw on the way home from Sonora, I saw two cows get hit in two different places. Wow. Yeah. This I was the first one to roll up on this one lady. Sorry. I don't know if we have time for this. Yes, this we a, do. This is a real story. <laughs> it takes a second. Yeah, not like our Netflix series. This is a real one. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I mean, like this. <laughs> it just takes a second. <laughs> Dude, I rolled up on this car, and like I couldn't hardly see it because the headlights were just smashed out. There was no, And the hood was up over the front glass. So you, wow. You couldn't see any light coming from windshield. The, yeah. From the front of the vehicle. And but I seen it like at the last second 
and then I see that its flashers are on. So I turn around, and then its like front skirt is like laying in the middle of the highway. So I we get out and drag that out of the road, and I'm kind of like I pull up next to it and kind of like trying to peer in through like the airbags and everything. That's like you can barely just see underneath the yeah. underneath the hood through the windshield, and uh, I didn't look like anybody was in there. And there at the last second, you just see someone moving in there and I was like oh, oh wow yeah I was like oh no this isn't gonna be good so we pull off on the side of the highway and we get out and Jordan th- then the car door opens and like this woman is screaming so I'm expecting just bad beaches of Normandy right. bad like kind of stuff like and an emergency yeah, yes right. and like luckily she was fine 100% yeah. perfectly fine and yeah and, like <clears throat> She's like, there was some kind of animal on the road. It took up the whole road. And I, I was like, oh, it was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> so I start looking, and sure enough, it's laying there in the bar ditch. Like, dead. It, and she's like, oh, my God, is it okay? I said, is it, is it alive? And I was like, no, lady, this thing's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to worry about the cow. <laughs> <laughs> you could say he's fine now. <laughs> and then, like, she was saying some stuff and didn't really want us to call the cops or anything like that. I was like, we absolutely have to call. Right. This vehicle ain't going nowhere. They're going to find out you were here anyways. Like, the, your car is staying here. Yeah. So, I mean, it's six, one way, <laughs> half a dozen the other. Like, if you did yeah. something wrong, it, it, it leaving is going to be just as bad. You, you know? can't ride with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're full The up. lady she was on the phone with was, like, asking her if we would give her a ride to Abilene. I was like, I didn't say anything. I just kind of. Yeah. Like ducked over in the corner, but I was like, "Heck no!" But yeah. Anyways, we sat there for like an hour on the side of the road sorting this out. It was like thirty minutes before the cops ever showed up, and like, dang, yeah, it was bad. So then we get on the road, yada yada, yada drive north of Abilene, get to Albany, and like in between Albany, uh, what, what did I say? Albany, Albany. What's what's uh, Abilene? In between Abilene and Albany. I keep seeing this cop, like, driving the same direction. We are just way out in front of us. He had his lights on. And, like, we never really were catching up to him. And then, finally, we came over this hill. And I see him parked at the bottom of this hill, like, right out on the city limits at Albany. And he's, like, flashing his flashlight at me to make sure I, I slow down. And I, I I, do. And then, about 200 yards out, I just see something laying in the middle of the road. And I was like, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> That's wild. And then there's a cow dead in the middle of the road, and this truck was sitting there. But luckily, he had like a moose killer on the front, or right. like a ranch hand on the yeah, front of his. Yeah. So that, it was pretty good, all right. But the cow was laying in the middle of the road. But and then we get on the other side of Throckmorton, almost back home, and we see a cow loose on the side of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we stopped and called the sheriff's department and were like, look, we've seen too much stuff tonight. We're not to call this gal in right now. Somebody's just driving around <laughs> killing cows on the road. <laughs> Somebody's cutting fences. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the start of a of a uh, some sort of like cheap horror movie. Like a comedy horror movie yeah. or something. because <laughs> <laughs> You can't see them things until you're on top of them. Like, yeah. They're black. Black cows and yeah. pigs at night. Yeah. Golly. That's bad. Bad as i ever seen. Have a grill guard. <sighs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Adam. What's up, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. I forgot you were there. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like Wayne freaking the whites at the we're hanging out with that one chick and Angelo walks up behind him. He's like, Holy <laughs> 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 Um Yeah, so what re- what was your job before this? I was a travel ICU nurse. You gotta like pretty much like make out with the microphone. A short guy here. There you go. And Dalton, if he would have gone first, it would have been like a boat. You can head. sit up if yeah. you want. Yeah, you don't have to lean back. Well, I can move it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Is that good right there? Yeah. Awesome. Bingo. Yep. Um, so you were, a, you were a what? I was a travel ICU nurse. Travel ICU nurse. So you went to different hospitals? Yes, for about 13 to 14 week contracts. I thought you were like a paramedic. Like in, like I did that at one time. I've oh, worked okay. in healthcare for almost a decade now. Wow. So you've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. You ever seen somebody hit a cow? <laughs> Not like 
happening, but yeah, I've seen the aftermath. Yeah. yeah. So Donnie's over here telling his cow story, and it's really just a fender in the road, and you're like, so of the dozen cow wrecks you've seen, you're going through your little Rolodex right, yeah. of like, six people didn't make it. This is Oh, Donnie, are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was acting like I was right. so petrified. <laughs> nice hat, Cole. I forgot to put a Dale hat on. Dang. When he said that lady was screaming, I was like, oh, man, what do you, what do you walk up on? Yeah. Because it can get pretty pretty nasty. Have you uh, seen some serious stuff on the side of the road? Just like highway vehicle wrecks yeah. and stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess as a paramedic, you, you're going all over for everything, but I just assume that that's like the – most of what you're doing well especially in the county that i worked in had a huge stretch of 287 yep through it so that's that was primarily what we did actually right um what was like the thing you saw the most of like thing, like an interesting thing because we see a lot of like uninteresting things people dial 911 for sure there you go what's the most a, interesting kind not of thing? appropriate things <laughs> um Let's see. So here. Wait, Man. what's inappropriate? So many questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there, there's too many, too many to mention. I'll have to tell you later. Wow, perfect. That's piqued my interest. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We'll do like a yeah, and maybe an unrated on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of unrated. Just like where we hear the interesting things that he got phone calls of. Don't you think? Yeah. What's yeah. Patreon? And it's where you like pay to. It's like YouTube, but you pay for it. Right on. Yeah. Anyhow, interesting things that you can talk about on the pad, podcast. Go. Hmm. I mean, there's a bunch. That's that's the hard thing. Like I did it for a few years, so, and I can't even remember half of what I did. I wish I could remember half the things I've done in my life. You don't you have know? like a go-to story, of like. I mean, this. I have some pictures on my phone, honestly, of stuff that we took pictures of. Um, a lot of open fractures. There was this one guy who was in uh, Henrietta, and uh, he landed feet first on the ground off of, like, one of those feed elevator oh. things. <sighs> and just, like, tib-fib fracture through both legs oh. and stuff and just cut his boots off. I mean, that was pretty. And then some of the other ones, I mean, there's, like, some that are probably not good to talk about Yeah, on here Dang. either. That yeah, pretty I nice. guess – the nature of your job is like the whole reason they call you is it's a really bad problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I could see how the stories might get a little. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of DOA. And stuff. Dang. We'll talk yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what is it that drew you to rodeo time? So when I watched the uh, Netflix show, I uh, was uh, talking to my wife about it and I like just thought it was really cool. I grew up around the country and stuff and always like and watched way too many westerns and uh just always liked that lifestyle but never really got to get into it and my wife was telling me I should go after it and I've made excuses for a long time and now I've ran out of excuses so here I am. Gotcha. So you're primarily interested in learning about the ranching industry. I mean, I want to learn about all of it cuz like I've said you don't know what you don't know and there's some of these things that I haven't had like a great exposure to that I maybe I like would really love it. But yes, ranching has always been like a lifelong dream. Yep. Um, probably like, I think Gabe had this in a podcast talking about like, doesn't did Gabe want a ranch? Mm -hmm. Um, and like using his like other entrepreneurial like businesses to support the ranch. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I would like to probably do. Um, yes, sir. Eventually. We'll go through some of these uh, rapid fire. Favorite Lonesome Dove quote? I need to watch it more. I can't come up with a good <laughs> quote. I can come up with my favorite scene, though. Favorite scene. That'll work. That'll work. When they go to the bar in San Antonio. Oh, yeah. I like that one. scene. That's I like that one. one a lot. My old man was an ag teacher. He would play that the first day of school. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and then, like, that scene or the whole movie? That scene. Yeah. And then... Uh, um, in the back of the class, like, the lights would be off, and he had this paddle. So, like, if you got in trouble, you either went to the principal or they would they would send you to the principal or my old man, and he was the one that gave swats, those two. And so, like, when you're watching that scene and the he would, the lights are off and he'll be in the back of the class and there would be, like, a plastic trash can there and he would take his board and just 
whack the crap out of it, you know, and it would be real loud and right. send the trash can flying and it would scare everybody. <laughs> and they would give a speech about respect. And then there was a scene from John Wayne and the Cowboys he would also share in there. The one where the bulls are fighting. Oh, yeah. He would play both those. He would play the Lonesome Dove scene in the bar, and then he would play the the bulls fighting. And then at some point he would smack a trash can. That's the coolest thing of it. Maybe we should have a video we show to interns before they start. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like we could. <laughs> it's just Dale Brisby narrating it, like as you're standing there. No, maybe like Christian Slater. <laughs> you're probably wondering why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been chosen, my friend. <laughs> um, these rapid fire questions are all but rapid fire. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. So, where are you from? We got that. What did you do before you came here? Got that. What made you want to work? Girlfriend. You're married. Favorite Western movie? That's a tough one. Um, Big Jake, maybe. Ooh, good one. Deep yeah. track. Most embarrassing moment? That's a tough one. Um, hmm. We'll circle back to yeah, it. Yeah, circle back to that one. Have you ever been fired? No, I haven't. Favorite Dale Wear item? Hats. Oh, yeah. Uh, most cowboy thing you've ever done before you got here? That one's pretty tough, too. Because um, there's so much of it. Right. I just, yeah. No, there's not a lot of it. Or, <laughs> or a lot of it's a sad excuse. Like, if you're going to call yourself a cowboy and you do this, that's, maybe you're not a cowboy. Well, <laughs> what can just put down saving somebody's life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty cowboy. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. One thing you want to see on Rodeo Time. I think it'd be really cool if y'all did some, uh, like, office scenes. Oh, my man. <laughs> I think it'd be cool, too. Kevin and Willie in a fight. Who are you betting on? I'd probably say Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just seems He's wiry. Kick that crutch out. Well, you said right now. That's true. So. Yeah. Would your answer change if they were both 100? I don't know. I don't know. Because you want to talk about kicking. Like, Willie's yeah. probably, I mean, he's a college soccer player. Oh, he could yeah. probably kick the snot out of somebody. Right. Yeah, but you got to have, you got to have the, 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 like, hatred to, to kick somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah, Is Kevin going to give up in a fight? I don't think so. Yeah. It I just think depends. He, like, are we talking about a street fight? Or are we talking about a boxing match? We're talking about, like, no think, old barred. Like, I think street, street fight, fight, Kevin, boxing match, Willie. Yeah, I think Kevin would give up. Oh, there's rules? <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of this. It's a good question. Anyway, we're going to start a real fight in here. That neither one of them are even actually in. <laughs> Favorite uh, Dale Brisby YouTube video thus far? Hmm. Dalton, you are hearing these questions. Better have some answers ready. Taking some notes. Um, It's a really tough one. What's the last one you watched? The uh, Cody Custer it's a good podcast. That was oh, yeah, really you're good. a podcast watcher. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, Adam, thank you for uh, your time here, and um, we're glad you watched Lonesome Dove. You get to stay. And um, For a second there, it sounded like, thank you for your time here. You uh -huh. can right. <laughs> <laughs> feel free to grab a calf on your way out. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant your time here on this podcast. You, you you are free to leave the podcast, but we'd like you to stay on at rodeo time. So for now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Donnie's watching you. What does what does Michael say to make everybody think that Meredith died? Oh. The doctors did their did best yeah. <laughs> to save her life. And she is going to be okay. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Thank you, Adam. We're excited about having you. And um, it's good to it's good to have like a, maybe somebody in the paramedic field around for buckouts. I agree. How many times just in the last six months would he have been handy? Just once. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> well, all right, but the time you need him, you need him. It would have been handy. Put your shoulder back in. Yeah. Yeah, that's true too. Right. He might have told you not to do it. Yeah. I think legally that's probably what he was like. I can't touch you. Isn't that what y'all got to say? You can't. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, he probably would have told. On the record, yeah. He probably would have told Willie to go to the hospital earlier. Yeah, we told him to tough it out for a couple of days. <laughs> All right, cool deal. On to the next one, Dalton. Your turn, my man. Come on up. 
We've got intern number three. Um, we did have a young girl in the top five. So for all of the, you listening out there, there was, um, you know, she kind of got um, another gig in the lapse of time. So it was, so anyhow, whatever. She had uh, went a different direction while waiting. And, um, but we are not anti young ladies. So the intern that's been here the second longest is a young lady. And I think we're now outnumbered. Guys have outnumbered the girls. But for the longest, we had more young ladies working for us than we did guys. This company's going to the birds. <laughs> <laughs> because we're getting less women? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, yes, there are three guys here, but um, we did have a girl in the top five. So, But she, she dropped out before we chose, so she might have beaten one of you guys. But maybe not. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> she did beat you guys. One of you was our last choice. We don't have to say who was. <laughs> the name is Dalton. It's not Roadhouse why I'm named after Dalton. Nice. It's my mom's maiden name, so. No, but it's I, all right. I have seen the movie, so. Good reference. Ex- like, yeah. you got it right away. I told him, don't tell us you're not named after. Yeah. Tell us you are named after Roadhouse. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be named after Patrick Swayze? Man. God. Ghost. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. That's the movie for Patrick Swayze. <laughs> not Red Dawn. Uh, not Red Dawn. <laughs> not else. Tall Tale. Dude, Tall Tale. Tall, tall Tale. He's Pecos yeah. Bill. Yeah, I would have, I'd have I to go. I and the Ring Tail Roar. Roadhouse. Oh. That'd be my favorite Patrick Swayze movie. That's a good movie. Um, the name is Dalton. So, <clears throat> where are you from? I'm um, from Lilburn, Georgia. Uh, it's like 20, 30 minutes outside of Atlanta. I was living in Athens for like six years, bef- like before I came here. So yeah, you were in college there, swimming. Yeah, I swam at UGA for like two years. So awesome! That mustache probably creates a lot of drag, though, huh? You want drag during the season? Oh yeah. You only shave one time a year, gotcha. or twice a year, depending on like fall invite and then like during summer nationals and stuff like that. You want drag during the season? Yeah, because it's like a mental thing. Like whenever you shave, you like feel like like you're nothing's fashion. on you yeah yeah you're just like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but i couldn't grow i couldn't grow facial hair or anything like that when i was swimming the chlorine just like ate it all away and everything so i'll grow i can grow a beard in the winter time too so dude i need to i need to jump in a pool and show you my strokes see what you think about my swimming i used to teach lessons so i can i can give you some lessons whenever i was uh in college we would i would go that was one of my workouts but I didn't want to get too good and then it not be a good workout. You know what I mean? Because right. I would like struggle <laughs> yeah. to get across the pool. <laughs> I'm talking about sideways across the pool. I don't want to get better. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really good at this meaningless <laughs> exercise. <laughs> but um, but now that I'm a Navy SEAL, I kind of need to know how to swim. It's important, yeah. Yeah. So, anyhow, I, uh, I've read like four of the books written by Navy SEALs, so like I'm pretty much a Navy SEAL. I think you're there. Um, you did, you, swim. did you ever think about jo- joining the Navy since you're such a good swimmer? Um, so I didn't really know if I wanted to go to college or not, and I was enjoying swimming a lot. So my dad was in the Coast Guard, so I thought about go- becoming a rescue swimmer. I like thought about it, and then I like, got scholarship offers. Then you stopped thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was more I got scholarship <laughs> offers, and I was like, oh, college seems fun. But Yeah. So you went three and a half years? Uh, to school, uh, I think I was like there four and a half years, but then I ended up just dropping out because I got offered a full time job. So, doing what? Uh, doing a spray tech and irrigation on a go- at the University of Georgia golf course. Nice. So then, uh, then I became the second assistant out there for a little while, and so I just lear- learned how to grow grass. Did you enjoy <laughs> playing golf? <laughs> uh, I played golf in high school, but then once you like are there all the time, like. 50 hour weeks and stuff like that. It's just like one of those things where you're like, I don't want to be out here to play another four hours of golf or something like that. So I'd Uh, play occasionally, but like I kind of like moved away from it. Yeah. You know what? I really like to go play a game of softball or something. (laughs) (laughs) Just want to be around dirt. Was it like caddy shacks? Yeah, no, not not at all. A little bit though. You paused. Uh, I would, there was a lot of mice I'd have to kill. So I'd, I'd be in war with mice. Gotcha. 
Like, what were you, were you using traps or like a baseball no, bat? They would climb up in like the control boxes for the sprinklers and like make nests in and, and, and then chew on the wires. So, like, if you would like open a box up, they'd like try to scurry out. So, I'd just like try to like hit them with stuff as they were scurrying out. That a boy. Nice. That a boy. We don't have a lot of mice, we got cats. Yeah. We, we feed we feed like all the cats in Winnebago. Super annoying. They found ranch kitties. Oh, food. Stash. Yeah. yeah. But so that means we run out and then we'll go a day or two or three or six without cat food and they got to fend for themselves. And so, you know, every couple of months we rid the ranch of, of, uh, of mice. Um, favorite Lonesome Dove quote? Um, I've seen the movie. But I haven't like don't remember it enough. It's okay. like I'm one of those people that, like I have to watch the show or movie a couple times before because you. you pick up on stuff each time. So it's like the first time I was just like trying to take all of it in, and then later on I can pick. Oh, it up. so it was recent that you just watched it. I watched it in December. Oh, all right. Yeah. In preparation for this? No, I just was like needed something to watch because I watched The Office thirteen times. At a boy and stuff like that. So <laughs> at a boy, <laughs> got to kill some time with something else. <laughs> if there was ever an answer. That somebody could give that was <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, why they had right. It. Um, you're from Georgia. Um, what made you want to come work for Rodeo Time? I uh, like. I've always been interested in this kind of stuff, like ranching and then like business. And so, like, I just kind of like found like I was finally like I'm just gonna kind of go after this, and like I was had time in my life and free to do this, and I didn't have anything holding me back. So I was like, I want to go after this and. I, like no one in my family does this or anything like that. They all kind of think I'm weird that I like hunting and fishing and like ranching and stuff like that. So you bet. Uh, girlfriend? No. Boyfriend? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it always catches people off guard. Yep. Favorite Western movie? Um, I was gonna go Tombstone, but since that's taken, I'm gonna go Rango. And a boy. That's that's a good that's, choice. Yeah, it's one of Donnie's. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, all right. The name is Rango. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Me? I'm from the West. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Marks, embrace me. <laughs> but the yep. lizard, he is going to die. Are, are you the one that killed them Jenkins brothers? Yep. Did it with one bullet. All seven of them. <laughs> All seven of them? <laughs> yep. Um, most embarrassing moment? Um, probably swimming. Uh, I, I, I kind of did it to myself, but it was like, I think it was either county or state my senior year. I was like the top seed going into the finals, so I got to pick a walkout song. So I walked out to I'm a Little Teapot, and I did the dance next to the block before I swam. <laughs> Why'd you set yourself up for the most embarrassing moment? Well, I thought it would be funny. How'd, you, was, yeah. how'd you do? I won. I won. Okay. Race, right, so so that, boy. Yeah. That's not that embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. You yeah. know, if you'd gone out there, done that, then like lost your Speedo when you jumped in, that, that would have been, been like, yeah. oh. real bad. Everybody would have seen yeah. your little teapot. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> That's why I walked out to that. So. Oh. Well, uh, I didn't. So Sorry. This morning, I didn't know you were a swimmer, honestly, until just now. And uh, well, I think in all you, fairness, at some point in our lives, we've all been the fastest swimmer. <sighs> Continue. Well, I come around to the tack room, and Jordan was sh showing them all how to get saddled, and I just hear him and Ty talking about, like, Speedos. And I just, I just hear one of them going, like, <laughs> yeah, I brought one. And I was like, and I come around the corner, like, what? <laughs> like, am I missing something? Like, did somebody text you telling you to bring Speedos? Is that your guys' preferred swimwear? And uh, no, he told me, yeah, it was for, yeah. I was just cleaning up stuff, and I was like, I'll bring a Speedo out here. <laughs> you, you never know. know. Yeah, could, you never know. Michael, good content sometimes. I got Michael Phelps over here. <laughs> Uh, have you ever been fired? No. Favorite Dale wear item? Probably hats. That a boy hat guy. Most cowboy thing you've done before getting here? Uh, there's probably two. I got ran over by a steer, and then I um we were castrating calves with one of my uh, my ex girlfriend's family's place, and uh we had to wrestle one of the calves because we didn't know if we got both out or not. So oh, yeah. we like kind of let the head gate out, and he. Took off, scurried off. We'd like grab him by the tail and like wrestle him down out there. So that was pretty fun. Did you get him? Yeah. Okay. Was there another nut in there? No. Okay. One had fallen on the ground, but we had one in the hand, but one was on the ground. There was a, it was confusion. Right. We we, got, we made sure that. Yeah. He, one he in the hand it. is better than two in the. There you go. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you something in the mail today. <laughs> <laughs> um. Kevin or Willie? Um, I'm going to go with Willie. 
because everybody's t- counting him out with the crutches, but I think like he has a reach advantage weaponry. now. Yeah. Mm. Weaponry. That is smart. Yes. Um, so where do you see yourself in five years? You want, you came here to kind of learn about ranching. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I don't really have any plans for five years. So I've kind of realized like, I just want to like live life right now and not like make any big plans or anything like that. Just kind of be able to go with the flow and see where life leads and stuff like that. How old so are you? I'm 26. 26. How old are you, Ty? 23. 23. And then Adam? 28. 23, 26, and 28. It's a good spread. It is. It's a good spread. Yeah. So um, we had available the 20-footer and the 40-footer. Um, what's that clicking? Sounds like it's up on the roof. Anyway. I doubt y'all can hear it. Anyway, so the 20-footer and the 40-foot available. Um, Adam lives close enough, so he's kind of like a, a hybrid of recruits because most interns are from far away, and then we also have locals. But now we've got a local intern. So, right. um, However, Ty and Dalton both came from uh, way far away, and Willie and I just decided whoever got here first Got the forty footer. <laughs> Did you know that's what we were doing? Did you realize that's what how that happened? I was told to be here at six, so I got here like an hour early, and I was like, "Oh, heck yeah!" Like I, I, I'm good. He, why did he tell you six? Was that the conversation whenever he was like really like <laughs> flustered? Willie was. I can't like, remember which Yeah, one. I think which it was actually Ty. Was, was on the phone when I came in and was like, just show up Sunday. Me? That was <laughs> okay. me. You like, you like lead back, you're like, just show up Sunday. Yeah. I was like, he's like, told me six on, on Monday. I'm like, all right, I could do that. I'll just drive through the night to get yeah. here. But right. <laughs> Well, Dale was over there saying, hey, tell him to show up on Sunday if 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 he can. And I said, so we can start Monday. And, and he we'll, said that like four times. He's like, all right, so be here Monday. He's like, yeah, but tell him Sunday. He's like, Monday. We start Monday. <laughs> Willie. And then finally, Donnie got on there and he was like, be here Sunday. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yeah, well, maybe we'll do something. You know, there's some other living arrangements around town. Maybe you can arm wrestle somebody. You know, if the 20-footer gets a little cramped. Do you like small spaces, Ty? Less to clean. Less to clean. boy. There's been a bunch of people come through there. So, um, Cole lived in there for a little while. I enjoyed it. They're very efficient. Yeah. It gets real cold in there, which I love. Oh, yeah. I, I, I had sleep with a fan on, and it was 60 degrees. It was chilly. Nice. Bun- all bundled up, and I Dude, like sleeping like that, though. 104 degrees outside, 60, 65 in that container. Not bad. So uh, we got a couple hours left in the day. You guys are going to do a not – it's not the most fun job that we have here, but it's close to that, and it is busting up some pallets. <laughs> I want to I'm trying to be efficient close to it (laughs) I'm trying to be efficient we have all these pallets where are you putting all this wood they're gonna I'm going to um yeah but where's it at right now it's in that it's just in the trailer gotcha at the ranch full of cardboard and (laughs) well the cardboard's going to the trash right but all the pallet wood I'm gonna use it for the bunkhouse we're gonna remodel the bunkhouse right oh really yeah so I'm going to use all that wood in there. I feel like that's efficient. That's very green of me. You I, should I built take a TV out, stand out of pallets. Atta boy. So you've got experience. You should take out that wall. Unless it, I don't, like, it should just be yeah, a the big, kitchen. big mm. open room. I agree. Except yeah. for the bathroom, of course. Yeah, and now that we're going to like, since it's being remodeled, we'll have better insulation. Yeah. And we'll be able to, exactly. Let's stay cooler. I just would request a door on the bathroom. Yeah. That'd we be. Sh- well, that'd we should have enough wood with all the pallets. Yeah. To build. <laughs> I, I hope so. I, I'm just saying. I don't want it to be the last thing. We just redo the kitchen, and there's still not a door to the bathroom. Yeah. So that's I'm I'm super excited about it. Might take us a year to get done, but yeah, remodel. Are we the, gonna do it ourselves? I don't know. It might be a good YouTube video. That would be a good YouTube mm-hmm. video. Hannah Barron gets really good views whenever she does DIYs. Let's do it. But also, she's really hot, so that might be part of it. We'll just wear yeah, bikinis. Say, we can get speedos. Say, yeah. yeah. Or we could get her to come help us for a day. That'll justify us using her as the thumbnail. Plus, Jeff will be here, and he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out with we hang out with them, and then people that watch the 17-minute video will be sadly mistaken. Look, Hannah's in it for 30 seconds, 
at the end of the video, you're going to have to watch the whole thing. She just <laughs> introduces it. <laughs> so, but I am super excited about that project. Not near as excited as I am about the uh, first gen getting restored. Mm. But, um, yeah. I want to make its own driveway. We're going to have a lean-to next to it. Dude, the bunkhouse is going to be the spot. People are going to want the bunkhouse over the, well, maybe not, but close. I would. Yeah. I think. I, I like the bunkhouse. You're at the ranch. It's at the ranch. Like. Yeah. So, but I'm thinking about, so we have all these containers out here that we've got for storage. Well, now that we've got the addition on the back coming in strong, I'm thinking about using all those containers and making them, uh, making like a little um, container cabin community. Village. At the ranch. Yeah. Like stack them up. And make like a big, be pretty cool. Yeah. You think they, you were wanting them like stacked, stacked on top of each other. Maybe three of. high. Dang. It gets windy here. Yeah. Yeah. You weld them off. I mean, I think it's cool. I'm, what it, like, yeah. Three high is excessive. I think we should go for it. Three high is excessive. I shouldn't have said anything. But two high in a square, you know what I mean? Yeah. We Yeah, we do that and, uh. Man, it looked like you're working at a Google office or something. But if we go too high, we might as well go three high. Yeah, we're gonna need a water feature in the middle too. Yep, like an atrium. I'll start put them yeah. in a big square. Right, and then ladders. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. We're gonna need a lot more interns. Yeah, we gotta fill them. Well, that's why that's one of the reasons why we don't bring on more at any any given time is because we don't have housing. Right, that makes so sense. That would solve that issue. Yeah, but. Um, we've got two Airbnbs here at the ranch, at the, at the warehouse, at the Dale warehouse. There's the brick Airbnb out front and then the 45 cut foot container is an Airbnb. So if we get in a bind, we could one day turn the 45 into an intern cabin, but, right. um, we'll see how it works out as far as Airbnb life. So, um, which the brick Airbnb stays pretty full. People come visit passing through some of which don't know who Dale Brisby is. They just happen to stay in the in the Airbnb, but right. mo most of them know who we are and they want to come in and meet us. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in Newcastle, Texas, you can book the, the Dale B and B and, um, check out Dale .com. Life advice. You're, we'll get your tie. Adam, we'll get y'all's life advice later in some future podcasts. What's your life advice? Dalton. Um, it's probably my favorite Bible verse. It's, uh, in their hearts, uh, humans, plan their course but the lord establishes their steps it's like so it's one of the things you can have an idea of what you want to do but sometimes you aren't aren't talking to god or with god and he doesn't always take those you're, you're getting different steps than what what you're planning so it's just like mm -hmm. being able to adapt with that and he has a plan for you so just follow his steps absolutely that's good advice let's see if donnie can beat it Uh, that was good advice. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen to Dalton. Uh, I would say uh, listen to everyone, but pick who you hear from. Mm. 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 Dang. Mm. That was, that was I just good. made that up. That's chill. Yep. It gave me chills. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking something like that, too. It, just it's, like... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes my wisdom just surprises myself. <laughs> hey, I don't know where that came from. It's like, I don't even know what I was saying. You should make a <laughs> caption on maybe like a picture and then quote yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. it sounds like something on LinkedIn. I post yeah. on LinkedIn, but I get it's so cringy on LinkedIn. So many people. And they always start their post off like, okay, I never talk about this. Or like, I don't normally post stuff about this, but, and then it's just like, how great am I? But it's just their professional accomplishments because it's right. LinkedIn. <laughs> so like that's the only thing. Right. It's just like it's just super bragging on themselves. Like I don't even read them. You got to look at the. You can look at the top couple of lines and realize like they're just gonna post a picture. Like got my PhD today. This was so, like just like <laughs> nobody cares. Uh, this chick on TikTok. We were just talking about this at lunch. This chick on TikTok posts like this big paragraph of all the stuff she's got i gotta make all this content videos and pack out a thousand bikinis and like send them all out by monday and it's sunday and like she's while well, she's just sitting there with her arms crossed like shaking her head to some <laughs> catchy song <laughs> and these are like five like in a yeah. row like this aren't like, you yeah. busy yeah yeah hashtag entrepreneur yeah <laughs> the one i'm sorry i was gonna bring it up you posted that video the other day it was the tiktok and at first it shows this gal that she's a nurse and she was just like 
so dramatic. Like, yeah, you can tell she set the camera up. She I, comes around the corner <laughs> and starts crying. <laughs> and you can tell she set the camera up on herself. It's just, and the TikTok is just, you know, her video of her crying saying she lost a patient. With ever. emotional music. Yeah, and this guy just dressed like a doctor. is just with a phone. All right, perfect. Got it. All right, <laughs> okay, let's put some emotional music She's, on this. Dude, you got yeah. a viral video on your hands. <laughs> he goes, you think now we should go tell the family? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty terrible. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, people were, I don't know. I don't know. I love, that's why I love Cameron Haynes' shirts that he has. Uh, nobody cares. Work harder. Yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely. <laughs> and then he shared this uh, this lady talk, saying, like, can we stop with the nobody cares, work harder? And she's, like, all about, like, how, like, you know, ever like, people do care, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. <laughs> But he shared it and put right. like a little hearty face <laughs> on there emoji. <laughs> You're right. I don't I don't know. I can't remember what her name was, like Kristen or something. And I commented on it and I said, Nobody cares, Kristen. Or Carter. Oh yeah. <laughs> can't believe I need to say this, but <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> oh shoot. What's your life advice, Cole? Uh he who rebuilds fastest ropes most. Yeah. There you go. Um, I re- just finished a Bible study. It'll probably go out tomorrow. So Bible study is pretty much just a few verses that I've been studying, a uh, subject that I've been studying. I'll talk about it and talk about what I found out in that study. It's eight, nine minute video. It's an unlisted YouTube video. So you have to have the link to watch it. I just talk to the iPhone and I send it out via text and um, so if you're interested, text the word Bible to 940-353-0890. And uh, just text me that, and, and you'll get the once, twice a week Bible study. You'll also hear about other things, so please don't be alarmed when I text you about other things. Because um, one guy was like, he had been, <laughs> he sent me a text, and he was like, I sent another text like, hey, free shipping this week. Here's the code. And, which I don't do that, but like four yeah. times a year. And he was like, I've been on this text for a week, and I, I came here for the Bible studies. I'm out. And I don't think he re- expected <laughs> me to respond. And I was like, man, Jeff, I'm sorry. I got another one coming. I right. usually do them once a week. And he was like, oh, oh, hey, Dale. <laughs> I was like, did you not think? what?" And he was like, no, I thought it was a computer. Why were you texting yeah, that you computer? Did, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you didn't think it was a real person, right. why were you texting back? Trying to get complex emotions out of a machine? Yeah. He was like, that's hilarious to me. People are like, I'll like tell them something and be like, whatever, this is a computer. Then why are you texting me back? <laughs> and they're like, I still don't believe you. Like, <laughs> you should just send selfies every day. They always, I do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll do that. So I don't get to everybody. I don't text yeah. everybody back because it's, Sometimes it's an insane amount of text, but every day I do text a handful of people. And right. sometimes I'll text upwards of 100 people. And so when you get multiple responses, it is Dale Brisby response. You know? <laughs> and there are some people that are persistent. Like there's this uh, Chris Stobel, yeah, the guy that uh, came by the warehouse. He texts me every day. And so like a couple times a month, I, I end up texting him because I see it so often. There's another lady, older woman named Elena. And me and Elena and Chris, we talk all the time because they're so persistent. You know? right. Some people don't want to try that hard. I completely understand and do not blame you at all. You know, I'm just saying, like, if you really want to talk to me, that's what it would take, you know? Right. Anyways. Um, totally not I, worth it. Here's yeah. the hack. Here's the hack. Comment on my most recent Instagram. Hey, check your text. That's how you get it. Oh. Because I'll, I'll check all my comments. Or message me on LinkedIn. I only get like one of those a week. So that's a hack for the intern deal. Message me on LinkedIn or text me, DM me, and then put it on a comment of a public deal. Thing to know. Just because usually there's only like 14 comments, and I'm going to respond to some of them and at least like them, you know. So anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, my life advice. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I thought it was just how to have a conversation with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, keep your seat. That's how you have a conversation <laughs> with me. Like, bear with me. I'll get there. No, I've been uh, studying a lot about um, suffering. And, um, you know, um, 
I was listening to Matt Chandler talk and he was talking about like how you're not the hero of this story. You know, the Bible is not, I know a lot of people say basic instruction before leaving earth, but it's not a roadmap for you. The Bible is about Jesus and God and bringing God glory. And then he went through like 40 different verses all over the old Testament, all over the new Testament for God's glory, for God's glory, for God's glory. And, um, Essentially, when we try to be the hero of the story, we think that we're uh, we're deserving of this or that, and that we, you know, if we check these boxes, good things are going to happen to us. And while there are cause and effect, reap what you sow, fundamentals in life, principles of day to day living. For instance, if you eat healthy, you will typically be healthier. If you exercise, you'll be healthier. If you save your money, you'll have more of it tomorrow. You know, there's some cause and effects things there that are just facts of life. But it doesn't always mean, like, if you go to church every Sunday, if you read your Bible every day, if you um, donate to the church, that doesn't mean that your spouse may not die or, you know, something bad goes wrong in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The Bible is full of people that experience suffering. And if you read Psalms, like, it's, it's a bunch of songs of people crying out for God to help them. Don't even crack the book of Job. If you want to hear about a good man who loses everything, um, Paul wrote most of the New Testament. A lot of those letters, he's in prison. Everybody quotes Philippians 4.13, like, I can win this race or I can catch this fly ball. I can dunk a basketball. Paul was talking about, like, I can survive in prison. Right. He was in prison for, for, for his faith. He didn't even do anything wrong. And so um, there's a lot of people that want hope. There's a lot of people searching for happiness when I think we should be searching for joy and peace. And so um, James 1, chapter 1, verse 2 says, count it all joy when you experience these trials of various kinds. And so as Christians, young Christians, that, you know, whether you're new to the faith or been here for a while, like you just got to know that there are seasons in life. Some are great. Some are not so great. God is always good. And, um, you're not always going to be the hero of the story because Jesus is the hero of the story. And that was one thing Matt Chandler said, like this life is not Goliath and you ain't David. Mm. We are the Israelites crying, scared. Jesus is David in that story. And, um, anyhow, that's something I've been studying a lot lately. It, um, right before that it was pride. Uh, before that it was faith. So I'm just kind of going through, sometimes it's like a, but anyway, so mom was, I usually go last just because I talk the longest. I'm long-winded. Always. But it is the Dale Brisby podcast. It is true. Speaking of pride. No, I'm just kidding. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All, that. No, I'm just All that shameless wisdom he just gave you, just <laughs> get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, God also made me a comedian. I got to respect that. Okay? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks for right. thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for uh, um, tuning in. Appreciate you guys listening to our stories about Lonesome Doves, stories from these three new interns. Look out for them in the Rodeo Time episodes. Text the word Bible to 940-353-0890. We love you, and we are on to the next one.